He's in your presence. He's here. He's here right now. Come on. Sure.
says if I be lifted he would draw you right where you out of you are for the next 30 seconds only for the worshipers that love God sincerely even if you're at your seat can you just lift your hands right where you are and for the next few moments can you just tell him how amazing he is to you come on he's your father he's your king God we lift our hands to you because you're Lord of Lords you're our peace tonight you're our strength tonight. You're our miracle worker tonight. Now, worshipers, I just need you to go ahead and put both of your hands together and give God a praise like you know he's Jesus. Come on, don't do it because I'm asking you to do it. But can you really give him praise because there's nobody greater than him? God, we love you. God, we love you tonight. Take just a moment just to tell you that you're worthy of the glory, of the honor, of the praise. Listen. Hey, because God is the greatest power, oh, you shall never, never be. the greatest power we shall never never be defeated and because God come on help me do it is the greatest power is the greatest power we shall never we shall never, never be defeated never be come on. defeated and because God and because God is the greatest power is the greatest power come on let's go never be and because God is the greatest power, is the greatest power, we shall never, we shall never be defeated. 
why the devil is a liar God is exalted never be defeated we shall never be defeated the devil is a liar come on the devil is a liar. God is exalted God is exalted never be defeated never be defeated never be defeated can we do never it again come on defeated. the devil is a liar
That's it. Just scream and make the devil mad. Somebody just scream. Pull your mask out and just scream in the building. Let him know that his devices did not work. There was some weapons formed against you, but tell somebody his devices did not work. Okay, we moving on. We moving on. We moving on. All right. Can y'all just wave your hand? You'll behave if you just wave. Don't open up. No shouting. Just wave. Come on. We just going to reverence God's presence in the building tonight. Woo! I feel his power in here, Sean. I would take off running, but these shoes are brand new. They hurt, and I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Not too early. Hold on. We're going to shout in a minute. I'm waiting. I'm waiting till Lexi get up here before we shout. Okay. So... You, by now, you should feel welcome and all of that. I just want to set a couple of house rules that the angel of the house tonight is Bishop James Dixon. Go crazy for the angel of the house for hosting it. Come on, go crazy. We have our title sponsor that is here, Dr. Carrie Fitzgerald Douglas is here. Come on, go crazy for Black Smoke Music Worldwide who sponsored and caused a lot of this to take place. All the ministers in the house, can you just wave your hands at us, preachers and ministers? We could give, give the mic to any of y'all and we could just go to church. So happy. And all the artists here, give God praise for all the artists that are here tonight on the roster for this night of love. But above all, the guest of honor is here, Sean McLemore, walked in here on his own tonight. But this is the thing, he pulled the cover off of his own face today. He's still here. He's still here to give God the glory. Hey, 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 hey. And we get to tell the story. Lord, have mercy. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see that God is still in control. Lord, have mercy. I said God is still in control. Working out situations. Woo, don't y'all start no praise and it won't be no praise. I say, I don't care what the doctor says, God is still, still in control. Okay. 
You can't let church people have two seconds. Baby girl is here, Rhonda, God bless you. Lady, Lady Ron, uh, Rhonda number two is here. She's here, y'all hear from her a little later. But I want to introduce to you the amazing Miss Lexi who came all the way from Detroit. Now listen, she must really love you, Sean, because can I tell it? She disturbed her time on the beach to give us 24 hours to give God praise for your recovery. So we got to dance. That's why I said we're going to wait on Lexi tonight. She is a television host. She is a journalist. She is shown up gospel singer who is perhaps best known for becoming the face uh, and the body. I'm, no, the, I'm sorry. Y'all see how quick the devil will come in? See that fast? The face of the Word Network. She, um, she held hosting duties for the Word Network Church uh, with Lexi and with the Lexi Show. Um, she sang in her grandfather's church. I'm not going to be long, but I just got to at least tell them that you are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. And it's all right to have your nails and your hair and all that done. You still say. Um, she put out a debut record. I ain't going to go into that. But she has a son named Michael. And um, she had him with her late, hus late husband, who's also the producer, Micah Allen. Her mother was a physician. Turn Dr. my mic Ruby. on. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, you know what to do. You know, give it up for Lexi Allen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Praise everybody. So here's the deal. Um, I'm glad to see all of you here. And I am, it is a blessing to see that. Um, in this day and time, it's hard to find people that are root for you. I wish I had two people in this house. So we're not going to be before you long. Sean, I don't want you to be here long. You're hard-headed and stubborn. And so you probably need to go get some rest. So we, we don't want you to stay too long. So we're not going to belabor. We're going to get y'all out of here. But this is a night of love. Plain and simple. And tonight, I need y'all to just do this with your, can y'all do this with your arms? And go, I need everybody to say quack, quack. You're, we've come to lift up the man of God with some money. I'm gonna come over here because somebody didn't get it. I said, we're gonna be athletic tonight and we're gonna lift up the man of God with some money. If you want to really support me, I'll know it by the money. Time is good. I appreciate that. But something about when you can separate from your money, from your pocket, that says something. That means you really love me. So I know times is hard and we're in a whole pandemic. But let me tell you something. If it was you, so I came here tonight with $500. Mess with me and I'll give more. I already gave a hundred. Matter of fact, I'll give a thousand tonight. Where y'all at? What's up? There's nothing too small. There's nothing too small. But we came here tonight not just to look at y'all. And tonight all I want to hear is victory. I'm not interested in nothing else. I don't want to hear about something happened to your grandma and, and I saw this before and they didn't make it, baby. I don't want to talk to you. I need three people in this house that have seen God do it. That's all I want to talk to tonight. The rest of y'all don't even come my way, baby. I didn't come to play with y'all. As much as we sing, dance, go to the house of God, profess that we know him, 101 is having faith in God. And a lot of us want to hear a new word, but you can't even get the faith in God part right. We want to hear a new preacher. We want to hear a new song. We ain't cool with the old stuff. But you can't even trust in him when times get hard. Let me say something to you. Bring the music down a little bit. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me break something down to you. When the enemy comes to your home, all of that preaching you've got for 20 something years. Oh, some of you have been church babies. You've been in church all your life. But it's something about when the enemy comes to knock on your door with some real problems. Not, not the little problems. See, y'all get scared over bills. 
you, you get frightened of the car note. Let me, let me start this off. The doctors told me my mother is a doctor, board certified, been practicing over 30 years. She's an assistant professor at the Medical College of Ohio. Her brother's a doctor. Her, 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 my aunt, her sister's a doctor. That's all I'm surrounded by. They couldn't do nothing for me. Doctors said I couldn't have any kids. I got a 19-year-old Negro, y'all know what I really wanted to say, up in my house eating all my food, musty Negro, that I wish the school would open back up so he can go back to college because he's eating me out of house and home. Here's what I came to say. When the doctors say that it cannot be, my miracle just called my phone and said, Mom, what you doing? Some of y'all get that tomorrow. What I believe God for is so, it, we, what you think is a miracle is nothing for God. I, I, I used to pray all the time, God, I just heal my body so I can have a child. God, heal my body so I can have a child. Now the thing's not even a miracle anymore. Now I'm just so used to it. I'm so used to the miracle. Anybody just want to be used to it? I'm just used to it. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of my miracle being at the house. Does anybody get that? One day, Sean... Is going to be running up and down, jogging up and down the street. Some of y'all came to see if he was going to show up. Some of y'all came to see how small he's gotten. Some of y'all want to run and tell the story. Girl, I, I don't know. It, it don't look good. I, let me tell you something. As long as you weigh more than what you did when you were born, you're going to be all right. Run, tell that. I'm the right one for the job today. There's some of y'all that shouldn't even be here today. God's been good to you too. God has kept you too. For anybody that shouldn't be here, I want you to stand on your feet. That the devil came and tried to take your life, but you're still here. Son, I need you to see these people. I need you to look around. You in good company, sir. You in good company, sir. Some of y'all should have been dead. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta go on. Listen, for those of you who are watching, we want you to give tonight. Hallelujah. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. Sing it. And because. Let's go. You can sing through that mask. Come on. We shall never. Thank you for the praise team. I love y'all. And because. Yes. Is the greatest. And we shall never. Never be.
Houston. Say it. Get your phones out, amen. You're probably texting now. We're gonna text the word give. Somebody say give. We're gonna text the word give if you would like to to the number 713. I'll wait. Grab your phones. Grab your phones. Take this number down. You took Tiny from the east side, ladies. You took his number down, amen. Uh-huh. I'm looking at you. Take this number down got to give me a mic that works, amen? See, the devil don't, he don't want us to give this money. 713-338-9011. And what are we going to text to that number? We're going to text the word give, 713-338-9011. Text the, I mean, text the word give and just give what you can. Uh, also, Cash App. Go to Cash App. And the Cash App name is The C-O-F Church. The C-O-F Church. Cash App. The C-O-F Church. There are many ways to give. We're not going to leave any money on the table tonight. The website, if you want to give, thecommunityoffaith.org. Thecommunityoffaith.org. So I just gave you three ways to give. So we want y'all to give, and we expect to, to get a little something on tonight. All right, we are moving on. Who is our first? And, and thank you to all of the artists that, that have come tonight. Put your hands together for everybody that has come and give up their time. That's out of love. Thank you for the praise team and the band. Give it up for the band tonight. Amen, amen. Uh, Jared Ronfro is in the building tonight. He's the one that did praise and worship. I really liked you, Jared. I like you. Okay, amen. <laughs> you didn't get a proper introduction. And I want to thank... Oh, okay, I want to thank Carrie Douglas and Ernest Pugh for putting this on tonight. Amen. Okay, so we're going to, to Eric Carrington, known as the veteran breakthrough artist who hails right here from Houston, Texas. Eric is an artist, composer, musician, and senior pastor of Willing Workers Baptist Church of Houston. Come on, Eric. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Listen, I'm not going to be up here long. We've already been going. Uh -uh. That's not my track. Let me say this before we get started. Listen, Sean, 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 Sean. Let me step back. There we go. You know we love you. There's no doubt. Cut me down just a little. There we go. I'm not going to shake hard. Listen, we love you. Yeah. For some of y'all that don't know, I'm going to get it out so you won't be talking. Um, just a few weeks ago, well, about three weeks ago, my dad decided he's going to be Pastor Emeritus and made me senior pastor of the Willing Workers Baptist Church. Two locations, one in Houston, one in Texas City. So now it's no longer a secret. Now you know. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. It's not a secret. So yes, it is true. It is true. But I come tonight, Pastor Emeritus, Pastor James Cleveland Carrington, along with myself. Listen, we sent you an envelope. And, and it's got your name on it. So I'm going to walk over here and make sure you get it. Because I didn't see nowhere a basket to put that in. But we want to tell you we love you. We're here to support you. And I'm here tonight. Come on, clap your hands one more time for Sean McLemore. We give you love and support. I'm not going to be long. I'm just going to sing a quick song, a song of hope. The song says, I'm living by faith. 
How many of y'all are here living by faith? Come on. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm living. Oh, y'all ain't talking loud enough for me. Say, neighbor, I'm living by faith. Now you can play that track. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. It's a little cute song. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Y'all looking at me, I'm looking at you too. I tell you what, tell you what, rock with me like this. There you go. Uh, don't get too cute, don't get too bougie. Come on, rock with me like this. There you go. Little simple song, and I want y'all to help me sing. It goes like this, it says, a la 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 la. A la 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 la. Come on, help me say, I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. How many can say that? Come on. Say it a la 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 la. <laughs> say it a la 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 la. <laughs> I said I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Come on, if you're living by faith, I'm living by faith. Come on, clap your hands like this. Living by faith. <laughs> I said, I'm living by faith. Come on, say, living by faith. Somebody say, I'm trusting by faith. <laughs> I said, I'm living by faith. Come on, there you go. Say, living by faith. <laughs> I said, I'm living by faith. Now y'all got it. Help me sing it. Come on. Say, la, 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 la. I said, la, 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 la. <laughs> I said, I'm not worried. Come on, say that. I said, a la, 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 la. I said, a la, 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 la. I said, I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Everybody say, I'm living by faith. Come on, let me hear you say, living by faith. Come on, put those hands together. Living by faith. I said, I'm living by faith. Somebody say, I'm walking by faith. I said, I'm living by faith. Hey, I'm living by faith. I'm living by faith. And then you tell me, say this right and say, My God is big. My God is strong. Somebody said it. Said, I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Can you say that? Say, My God is big. Come on, say, My God is strong. What you say? Said I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Listen, if you're living by faith, come on, put those hands together. No matter what your situation is, I come to come. No matter what it is, just keep living by faith, and He's got you. Everybody, help me say this part right here. Say, I'm living by faith. Living by faith. Come on, say, living by faith. Hey, living by. Hey, trust in my faith, living by faith, walking by faith, living by faith. Come on, say, watch us say. Ooh. Ooh, la, la, la. <laughs> say it a la, 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 la. I got you, nigga. Say it a, I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Said I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Can I hear y'all real quick? Come on. Said a la 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 la. Said a la 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 la. Said I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Let me hear again. Said a la 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 la. Said a la 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 la. Said I'm not worried. Living by faith, I gotta hear you. Say it a la 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 la. I said a la 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 la. Say it a, I'm not worried. I'm living by faith. Some of y'all ain't singing. Come on. Say it a la 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 la. I said a la 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 la. I said a, I'm not.
listen, and I'm walking away. I'm walking away, but I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Stand up, honey. Stand up. That's my lady right there, y'all. Mother, stand up. I won't show them to see that you came. Pastor didn't make it, but my mother's here. Thank you. God bless you. And Junior, I see you too. God bless you. Thank you. All right, all right, Pastor. All right, Pastor. Pastor Eric Carrington. He, know, he knows it. He better acknowledge the, the, the woman of God. Amen? <laughs> all right, all right. We are still texting to give. Have, how many of you have given so far? Put your hands up. I want to see hands. I'm not playing with y'all today. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Put your hands up again. Okay, okay. So when you see me with my phone in my hand, I, I've already given half, and I'm, I'm getting my, my assistant to give the other half because like my eyes are really pretty they're just not functional and I refuse to put on my glasses right now so I don't want to give to the wrong person amen okay so we are still giving so the phone number is 713 for those who didn't get it the first time 713-338-9011 and text the word give also you can go to the website thecommunityoffaith.org, and you can give there. Thecommunityoffaith.org, and you can give there. Give generously, huh? Come on, because some of us can miss a meal. I've been trying to lose these last, listen, these last little pounds. I can miss a couple meals. It'll, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. All right, next person up that I love so much is no stranger to y'all at all. I love him so much. He is known as a dynamic preacher and singer. He's an artist, composer, writer, and senior pastor and superintendent of Jericho City Church of God in Christ of Houston. Put it together for Brian Nelson, Pastor Brian Nelson. Listen, if, if you believe that by virtue of the fact that Sean is in the room tonight is a prophetic indication that it's already done. Don't let your mask mute your praise. Just look at somebody and tell them it's already done. And if you sit next to somebody that look like they don't want to have church, find somebody else. Matter of fact, just look across the room and wave at somebody and say, man, Be the name of the Lord. 
for the season and so we're going to sing it and get out the way Lexi says she's giving five so I'm giving five praise the Lord because I love my brother uh, it's my first time doing this y'all so. look at somebody and tell him he's still in control I don't care what kind of sickness you got I don't care what kind of hindrance you want tell your neighbor he's still Weep! 
my way to my seat. But I need you to look at somebody and I need you to say this with me. Watch this. Tell them. It's all in his hand. 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 It's in his hand. She's in the building. I'm so glad we're all in the building. I said, I'm glad to be here tonight. Millions didn't make it.
Brian, Courtney, Wilson, you come here for a second. He's here, y'all. The healer is here. Master is here. Our sovereign God is here. The waters are being troubled tonight. The waters are being troubled tonight. The enemy is being put on the run tonight. Get what you need. Get what you need. He's here. Y'all thought y'all came for a concert, but he's walking up and down the aisles. He's here. I dare you to lift your hands right now and just thank him that you still have breath in your body. You got one more day to get it right. God, we thank you. We bless your name, Brian. saying again come on we'll do it together I need you I need you 
Show me your hand and declare it again. It is his will that every need. Show me your hand again and persist. It's not the form of fashion. It is his. But because you believe. Put 
your hands together for the anointed Brian Courtney Wilson. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Let me tell y'all something. Shake yourself. Get yourself together. I need you to keep your masks on. I need you to keep your masks on in the building. Please. Thank you. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, really, really quickly so Sean can go home and rest, we want to hear from him. So do I come down there? I'm going to come down there and I'm going to give me a fresh wipe. Give me a fresh, I brought my old wipe. Sharon is going to say something in your stead. Sure. Listen, I was just told that he might, he's going to say whatever the man wants to do. We here for you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, sir. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise tonight. Come on, we can do much better than that. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. This is uh, going through some things, and all I can think about is Orange robe. Shaved his head. Lost everything he had. Cattle. Friends. Went back in the house and still got down on his knees and worshiped him. I don't know if you know, know if you know who I'm talking about, but when I was in the hospital, they was changing some, I just keep it real, it is what it is. They was changing some bandages on my leg and one of the nurses that was praying in the hospital changed didn't know who she was, never met her before. Then the other nurse came and said, you know, you need to join with our building. And they just took me to a whole nother place. God has said, people look for you to come and do things like this, and you probably won't see them anymore, but you are real. I hope you heard what I said. So everybody that's here tonight and streaming and looking, I'm going to live. Said I'm going to live. I'm going to live and not die. And I don't want to just say that for me. I'm not the only one that's going through some stuff. You going to live and not die. So I thank God for everybody who came to be a part. And I didn't know this stuff was going on. I'm not the type of guy to just be reaching out to this, that, that, and this. Kelly Douglas, Pastor Patrick, Ernest Pugh. So happy to see Lexi here. Lexi used to shoot me in a play for about two years for a long time. And I said, God, when I come home from one of those, this shit is ridiculous. There's so many things. It's, it's so many things I used to go through.
down. I think my immediate person is going to die. And I know it. And I have to tell him that I love him. And I love him. And I love him back. And I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, I do some work on him. He's got hair on him. I look him through the eye. He got a little bit of hair on him. Drink a few more. Watch a game of basketball with a hair on him. Watch a puzzle piece. Then I love him. Love him back. Love him back. <laughs> and he uh, and I pulled you over right here. Flew all the way down from Portland, Oregon. Back to Lamb and Hammerstein. Came on down. Never thought I'd walk here. Came to do my what my dream was. Brother Brian Wilson, he was one of my dearest friends. I still have him to this day. I was in a teepee because I woke up built the wrong shirt. I was in here. I was in here. And uh, he just loved on me, man. But keep praying for me. I'm not going nowhere, so. Let's have church. I haven't had church in a long time. And it feels good. It feels good. God bless you. Thank you so much. If you love Jesus, let me hear you make some noise for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, if you love Jesus, can I hear you raise a voice for me? If you love Jesus, give God a praise for me. We didn't come here to mourn. We came here to celebrate. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, okay, I'm giving my thank yous and my uh, thanks. I want, first want to thank Bishop Dixon for doing all that you do for our family since I was right here acting crazy on your stage. I thank you. Um, my pastor, Pastor Nelson, love you. Love you, Pastor Nelson and Bishop Dixon. Amen. Thank you. Um, I want to appreciate every artist that took the time out of your schedule to come celebrate my dad. Um, this has been a crazy journey for him, but through it all, he's here to tell his own testimony. And we just thank God for that. Um, I want to thank my family, my Aunt Karen, my cousin Kaylani. They came all the way from Dallas to be with us. Uh, also, I want to thank my Uncle Mario, my Aunt Veronica, if y'all could stand up. They have been there down the way with my dad, taking care of my dad, making sure he's good. And I just want to say I love you guys. I thank you. Auntie Monica is here. My Auntie Monica, I don't know where she is. Love you, Amy. That's my mom's sister. <laughs> All the sisters and brothers. Oh, hallelujah. OK. Um, I want to thank everybody for doing the cash apps, the zells, the encouraging words that mean everything. Also, um, I want to take this time to thank my dad um, for not giving up on yourself. Um, if strength and perseverance was a person, it would be him. Despite his challenges that he is facing, he has not given up on himself. He's determined to do good in therapy. He's determined to walk better. He's determined to be, have the strength that he needs. And I just thank God for that, y'all, because y'all don't even understand how emotional this has been for us. But I just praise God for that. Um, there's a scripture that I've been dwelling on since this whole situation has come about, Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be, dis be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Once again, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. God, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. 
her request it. I'm going to sing a little bit. I'm going to get it you guys' way. So pray for me. Come on, uncle. for my dad. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you if you would only trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Find your battles. I'll find your battles. I'll find your battles if you would only trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Cause I. Yeah. 
each other before our children were born and so it's so great to see when your children get it when they when it finally clicks with your kids you we can train them up but when we see it kick in Sharon the scriptures hit just a little bit different now everything you've been taught hits a little bit different now it's so good to see the power of God use you and you allow the Lord to use you in this time you're only as strong as your team and for God to give that strength to that baby the way he's done the way she walked up here head up shoulders back supporting her father talking about strength and faith that don't come if you don't have the Lord it just doesn't come when you don't have the Holy Spirit. So we thank God. We thank God for that. Listen, listen, we're still giving. We're still giving. Let me, let me just say this real, real quick. As you're giving, some of you have started a business. I know I did. I started a business. So I gave $500 from my personal money, and I gave $500 from my business. I don't know about you. I ain't proud up in here. I need my business to be blessed. I'm believing God to be a multimillionaire. Some of y'all just talk about it. I'm going to be about it. If you don't believe it for yourself, just watch me. But I put my money, I got to put some skin in the game. You're not going to get anything in this life if you keep holding on to the little bit you got. You got to give that thing away. Some of y'all got some money that y'all sitting on. It's just a little bit. It ain't, it ain't much. But I promise you this. If you give it away and trust God, if you would only. Y'all just like the song. I dare you to live it. We're going to take the offering in a few minutes. Harden not your heart when the pastor gets up. We got to put some skin in the game tonight. I put a thousand in the game tonight. Pastor Eric put in 500. So at any given time, you can text the number 713-338. It's on the screen. There you go. Get that right there. And we also have a cash app. I did mine through cash app. Uh, the COF Church. The COF Church Cash App. All right, we're moving. We have a great man of God that is coming tonight. Gary Mays is an artist, a masterful producer, instrumentalist. Gary Mays is coming to sing his signature song, Grateful. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's so, up? Uh, I'm going to use my time wisely. But um, if y'all will allow me about two minutes to talk to Sean, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Sean Mack. There would be no new era without new image. I rehearse on Mondays because you rehearsed on Mondays. I established a sound because there was a sound with inspirational sounds before there was a new, new image. I want to tell you this now so you can actually hear me and see me telling you this. I don't want to wait. I think it's my time to talk to you now and tell you thank you for everything you've done as far as my career is concerned. 
1995, I was introduced to you by Rhonda at a park a week after being released from prison. I was playing for Adrian Medeiros and Garza Known It People. And two years later, a year and a half later, I got the call on a Sunday night, say, man, would you want to come play for me? I never told you, but I cried like a big baby. That's a gig that I wanted. I wanted, I needed it, I desired it. I didn't beg for it. God just placed it in my hands. It was because of you, man. So I want you to know I appreciate you because I honestly believe this is why I'm here now having this conversation with you about this, you know, sing my number one hit right after this, you know, because I have hits. It haven't hit yet, but I have hits. Speak those things, doc. Some of people call that lying. I call it speaking those things. But I have a career in this industry, and I have a, it's a and my, I think I saw my godmother in here. G Ma, not, she's gone. Yeah, I have a career because of you, man. I know, I believe it in my heart. You know, Monday nights, Paradise Baptist Church for rehearsal with New Image. New Image, they know we used to go in every week, man. So, uh, deliver me. Christ did it all. Rocks, you don't know. Like all those make me real. Christ did it all and make my make me real of my favorite two songs by you, man. Uh, but I just wanted to tell you, and I need you to hear me and it, from the bottom of my heart, dude. I don't believe I'm standing here as an artist uh, if you didn't come in my life, man. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that B flat, man? Roll that beautiful Bing footage. And turn it up some. I'm so grateful that you love me. I'm so grateful that you care. New Era couldn't be here tonight. Can y'all be New Era? Have to do it. Can y'all be New Era? Y'all gonna be New Era? But I'm thankful that you did. I'm so grateful that you care, yeah. Yes, sir. Because you didn't have to do it, yeah. But I'm thankful. But I'm thankful that you did. Let's sing it again. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you loved me. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you did. Yeah. yeah. The cross you didn't have to do, yes, sir. but I'm thankful. I'm thankful that you did. Sing that line again. Say the cross. Yes, sir. But I'm thankful. But I'm thankful that you did. Can I sing that next part? Y'all gonna sing it with me? Y'all remember it? I am grateful. So grateful. So grateful, sing. Yes, sir. I am so. Say I am, I am. Yes, sir. I am so grateful. Say I am, I am. Yes, sir. I am so. Say oh. Yes, sir. Everybody crying, oh, it's the victory cry. Hey, your grace has kept me. Your love surround your hands, protected your love. Everybody say I'm happy, great. Everybody say I am, I am, I am, I am. Everybody say I'm happy, great. Everybody say I am, yeah. Everybody say I'm happy, grateful. I'm so grateful that. 
you love me I'm so grateful that you care Yeah The cross you did not have to do it My Lord But I'm thankful that you did Turn around, go back to the floor The cross you did not have to do it But I'm thankful that you did Go back to the six one more time Everybody rock like this Oh! Oh, oh. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. One more time. Say I'm happy. I'm happy. Grateful. Everybody. Say I'm happy, grateful. One more time, and we are. But I am grateful, happy, grateful. Last time, break the music. Lord, I am grateful. Everybody say I'm happy. Last time, sing. I am. Yeah, Lord. To the one. I'm so grateful that you love me. Yes, sir. Well, we have a video presentation, a very quick one from Gene Moore. Sean Gene Moore loves you. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Sean, what up, man? It's your brother Gene. Hey, man, I'm so sorry I can't be there in person. I'm out of town at the moment, but I couldn't let this night go by without shooting you a video just to let you know that I love you, bro, and I'm believing that God is going to give you complete and total restoration. And I think it's safe to say that me, as well as the entire gospel industry, yes, we care about Sean McLemore, the artist, but most of all, we care about Sean McLemore, the man. And we want to make sure that you're okay. And this is our time to give back to you to let you know that we want to see you do well. And we want to encourage you, man, just hold on. We know you're tired. We know that this season has been rough on your body. But just remember, the Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord is able to deliver us. So hold on to that promise, man. Just know God is a deliverer. And before you know it, you're going to be back on that microphone singing like never before. So once again, you always have my full support. You take it easy, boy. Praise the Lord. One of my favorite singers, him and Brian Courtney Wilson, one of my favorite singers in the world. Uh, right now, we're going to have, we're going to, it's, it's time to give. Put your hands together. It is time. I said it's time to give tonight. There you go. So we're going to, we're going to have the angel of this house, Pastor James Dixon, to come up. And uh, take this offering up. We won't be before you long. We still have some anointed singers. Don't get tired, y'all. Don't, don't get tired. This is, this is for a good cause. Keep your mask on. Amen. All right, Pastor, it's on you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, y'all don't give God cheap stuff like that. Come on, praise the Lord tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. I haven't seen this many people in church in a long time. I'm about to take a text and everything else. My God, my God, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Amen. Go with me in your Bibles. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed. I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Mother Betty, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. 
tell somebody you, you ought to know what to do when you go to church. Amen. We praise God tonight for his goodness and for his grace and for his guidance. I greet you with great humility because everything that I am is because of grace. Everything that I have become is because of grace. Everything I have is because of the grace of God. I am nothing, simply nothing, without grace. That's a song for you, Brian. Yes, 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 yes. What I am is because of grace. What I'm becoming is because of grace. What I have is because of grace. I am nothing, simply nothing, without grace. If that's your testimony, lift your hand right where you are. Even if your hand is not lifted, it's still your story, even if it's not your testimony. Because some people haven't learned their story yet. But I've lived long enough to know that there, I have nothing at all to boast about. I have nothing at all to brag about. Because what I am is because of grace. What I do is because of grace. What I have is because of grace. I am nothing, simply nothing, without grace. And I'm looking for that, that hand to go up because the reason some people can't give is because they think they did it by themselves. But I want the people in here right now who know that you don't have anything that God didn't do by his grace. Grace simply means I don't deserve it. It means I have not earned it. It means I'm not qualified. It means that I am only justified. And I need somebody right now, before we give an offering, to say, I, all I have is because of the grace of God anyway. Amen. Lift your hands right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. I'm not going to be long about the giving, but, but you can't give right until you say it's by the grace of God. But, come on, say by the grace of God. If I have a job, it's because of grace. Come on, if you got a job, keep waving your hand. You got an income, it's by the grace. Wave your hand. You got a business, it's because of grace. Lift your hand. You've got, you've got a 401k, grace, lift your hand. A check and a saving, an ATM card is because of grace. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you will have all sufficiency in all things at all times so you can abound to every good work. I believe that. But verse 6 says, whoever gives sparingly will reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Let all of us give, not because you're being forced to give, not grudgingly, but God loves a, come on, shout back if you know it, cheerful giver. And then verse 9 says, God is able. And, and so I'm going to pray tonight. I'm going to pray tonight we're going to give. We thank those who are viewing Virtually tonight, all over the country, Sean, people are viewing and praying and believing God with you tonight. So blessed by your daughter, Sharon, and tonight, my God, grace. God bless you, Rhonda. God bless all of you. And as we pray to give, I simply want you to say tonight, I'm giving out of grace, and I'm going to receive back 30, 60, and 100 fold because God is able. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the chance to sow seed into good ground tonight. The ground of a worshiper is good ground. The ground of a witness for you is good ground. The ground of a kingdom worker, a soldier of the cross is good ground. The ground of the life of a man who's dedicated his voice to lift in the name of Jesus, that's good ground. And so tonight we sow in good ground in the life of our brother. And we don't do it, Lord God, with timidity. We do it boldly because we do it in love. 
and in faith by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. It's goes so good to see my brothers and friends with Ministers of the Gospel tonight. God bless you, Dr. Greg Patrick. God bless you so very much. Come on, give Pastor Patrick a hand. There's no one like Greg Patrick. Amen. Love Sean McLemore all the way through. God bless you, Brian. Minister Brian, God bless you. So many others. I call all the names. God bless all of you. Tonight, Sean, I'm, I'm sewing tonight. I'm not going to announce what I'm sewing because somebody is going to ask me to give that to them. Amen. Amen. But I'm sewing tonight. Me and Lexi, we're sewing on, on, on another plane. All right, so uh, listen, I want you tonight to get an amount in your, in your heart, in your heart. And I want to ask you, if you're going to give virtually, you're going to give by, no, by text, give it at 713-338-9011. Text the word give to 713-338-9011. And click on Love Sean. Love Sean, donate right there. You can do the same with the cash app at DCOF, DCOF, dollar sign DCOF. You can give there. Same thing. Look for the piece to love Sean. Now, I want to ask you tonight, let's, let's break a stereotype. You say, what's that? The stereotype is musical crowds don't give much. Now, I'm just telling you, am I right, Ron? That's the stereotype. I want to see everybody who, who came here because you love Sean McLemore, stand up. If you came here tonight because you love Sean McLemore, stand up. Now here's what I want to ask you. If this offering was for you, if this offering was for you, what would you want the person next to you to give? If the offer tonight was for you, you say, but I'm not in need. You could be. Okay, I'm going to talk to this crowd over here. You say, but I'm not the one who's been in the hospital, but you could be. And whatever you or I think we have, that is a predicament that could change that. What would you want the person next to you to give tonight if the offering was for you? And so I want us to give liberally, cheerfully, even sacrificially, and do it lovingly in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, I want the man here. I need four men right here. Amen. If you're going to give it tangibly tonight, you've got an offering in your hand. I want you to bring that forward. Just bring that forward. If you're making a check, make it to DCOF. We've got that arranged. It's all going to him. But we need you to make sure you give that tonight. Amen. If you're giving something in your hand, bring it. Bring it. If you're giving by text, the number is on the screen. We need a number on the screen. Amen. Amen. Bring it tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Now, we're charging no money. This is not to pay the rent. The community of faith is not charging rent tonight. This is not for the house. This is not, this is not like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Look at you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. That's it. God bless you. That's it. Is that Ernest Walker? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Kathy. Ernest Walker's in the house. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Is that Albert Lemon? Is that Dr. Albert Lemon? Just retired from HISD? I just heard that today. God bless you. Good to see you. Congratulations. Brother Terrence Ruffin. I see you, Paul. Bless you. Yes, indeed. Let's keep Sean protected. We, we can't all shake his hand. He's got to keep his strength. Got to keep his strength. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we got some major music coming up in just a minute. 
We got some great artists coming up in just a minute. Praise the Lord. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. You cannot beat God's giving no matter how you try. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, God bless you. Is everybody given? Father, multiply this offering back into the lives of your people. Every seed sown is a harvest that will be grown. And we give you glory in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Come on, Sister Lex. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank y'all for giving. It was so beautiful to see y'all give tonight. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves those at home. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Coming to the stage right now is the man that helped put this whole thing together quickly. He wants to have some uh, brief, brief words. We're still getting money. Look at God. Won't he do it? Kerry Douglas, CEO of Black Smoke Records. Y'all got to give it up. He put this thing together. Give me a wipe. Still social distancing. We're wiping off the mics. I've been vaccinated. Amen. Amen. How y'all doing? Man, I'm so excited to be back in Houston. I've been gone for a while. Uh, Bishop Dixon, I want to thank you so much for opening the church, uh, for being the man of God that you are. Um, I also, I want to just uh, thank, I know we online, so I, uh, I reached out to, to James Fortune and uh, Isaac Karee uh, last week um, and said, look, I need us to do something for Sean. And we put together something. And... Uh, you know, we raised a little over $15,000 that we gave to him. Wow. You know, and, and I say that because a lot of time we labor, we do a lot of things, and uh, we can't help when something bad happens to us. You know, uh, this man was in the hospital for almost two months, so you know what kind of toll that could take over you. And uh, Sean has served faithfully. In this gospel community since the day I got here. So I want you to know, Sean, we love you. And I want to also thank each and every one of you. Because you didn't have to come out here tonight. I just want to thank y'all for showing Sean McLemore some love. How many of you know that we serve a God of miracles? So we're talking about miracles. We serve a God of miracles. I said we serve a God of miracles. One day he gonna preach. He gonna preach one day. <laughs> you know, we just got through. How how many of us know somebody who has died of COVID? Now, how many of us are here right now? We we serve a God of miracles because we're sitting here right now. Five hundred thousand people have passed. So, Sean, this ain't your funeral, baby. Because God has a miracle for you right now. And you're going to be right back up here real soon. And what we're doing is just helping you. We're giving you 90 days, baby. You're going to be back making your own money. <laughs> we're giving you 90 days. You're going to be back making your own money. All right. I say this on behalf of Black Smoke Records, uh, Black Smoke Records. It, Carrie has been Carrie's been there for Sean, and we've all tried to do that. And giving honor to God, to the angel of this great and 
wonderful house, uh, Bishop James W. Dixon III. God bless you, my friend. Are you not clapping your hands? Come on, clap your hands for this great man of God. To our illustrious uh, mistress of ceremonies, Lexi, God bless you. Amen. Good to see all of you. Ernest Pugh, my great friend, and Kathy Taylor, and all of these up here. Amen. I just can't believe it. Brian Courtney Wilson and uh, all of the, the artists, the gospel artists that have come. And the first family over there, Sharon and Rhonda, she taking me back when I held her when she was born. Amen. I used to manage a group called Sean McLemore and New Image way back in 1996. <laughs> Ooh, it seems like yes, yesterday. But I uh, want to t tell Sean, and it, a lot of money was, has been raised, and we got we to gotta move on. But... Uh, we wanted to give you a little, just a little bit more. And that is, I um, want to give you just, I could give an amount, but it ain't two <laughs> figures, it ain't three figures, it's the four figure kind. Okay, <laughs> we'll give that. That's the four figure kind. And I thank God for Carrie. Carrie raised 15000 with John P. Key and a whole bunch of other good Praise folk God. that are our friends. And uh, you got it already. And I sent you some more into your cash app. But I want to hand this to you personally. I ain't going to text it. I ain't going to send it. I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to put it in your hands. Yes, Amen. Yes. So, uh, but I just want to thank you for calling me up, Carrie. But I, I just wanted to let you know, Sean, we love you. That's we so, so many love you. And we know that we will see you on this stage and on my stage. Or every church in this land is going to be booking Sean McLemore real soon. God bless you and keep Amen. you. We're going to turn it back over. Good. I, I want I want y'all to get that going. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now, hold on before you go. Yes, One sir. Second. Oh. I need to take a I want to say something to this because the world normally does this better than the church. Yes, they do. And I just want to commend you all. Oh, now I'm very serious when I say this because Absolutely. the world normally does this better than the church does. Yes, sir. You come to church, you other, other, other genres, yes. other disciplines, they throw parties for each other when they go down. They do all kind of stuff. Yes, and normally the church is the only army that shoots its own wounded yes. or leaves our wounded on the field to die. And then show up at the funeral crying. So I just want to commend you, Carrie Douglas, you, Ernest Pugh, you, Greg Patrick, and everybody else, Cedric Ballard, who had something to do with making sure that we came together tonight. And I need y'all to make, listen, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to violate just make a joyful sound in here tonight. If it's through your mask, do something, say something to make the devil out of a liar. Come on, because we are the family of God. And, and so I just, I want to say that as brothers in Christ, thank you for setting that model. And don't anybody get jealous because when you had your year, that we didn't throw this for you. Don't, don't, don't charge at anybody's heart. Please don't get, don't be, some of y'all didn't shout, simply saying, because you might be thinking about, well, they didn't do this for so-and-so, and, and, the, and the last time, shots fired. But let me say this to y'all. Let's not look back. Let's look forward. And I promise you, if you celebrate what's happening for Sean, God can bless you from a source and from a direction that has nothing to do with us tonight. So let's just give God praise and drown out the, yes, let's drown out jealousy and envy and everything else. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want to say this, if you put your ba a bad word on tonight, you're going to be speaking a curse on your own bank account. Period. 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 Okay? How about that? So, so I just want to, I don't want to let the devil get any. All right. So we pray, thank you. One more time, let's praise God for brotherly love. Amen. God bless you. Come on, Lex. I'm sorry. All right.
Thank you so much. Thank you guys. It is so great. I, I'm, geez, I need friends like that. I need a lot of friends like that. I'm so happy tonight. My soul is glad just to know that there's still some good people out here that have your back in a hard time. This is so good. We got some great artists. Don't go anywhere. Those of you who are watching, we are so glad you're here. We're still giving uh, Black Smoke recording artist. He's a powerhouse vocalist from Houston, multiple stellar and dove nominated artists with four number one billboard charting artists. So, songs. One is called I Believe. Zacardi Cortez is in the building. Let's get it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Y'all still hit us? I just want to give honor to um, who's on here due to, man, everybody in this house, um, Dr. Betty Nelson, yes. Bishop Dixon, Pastor Patrick, Carrie Douglas is in the house. Can y'all make, make some noise for Sean Mack tonight, y'all? Brian Courtney Wilson is in the house. So many great people. Dr. Hosley is in the house tonight. So many great people, man. And uh, I'm just happy to be here for my brother. Amen. Amen. Um, I believe the storm is over. I believe the rain will go away. I, I believe the promise that God made me. And it's already done. Ooh. Let me sing my verse right here. I believe that my God is a healer. Yes, he is. And I believe that I will. Y'all to help me say that. Everybody get here say it's already done. If you believe it, by faith. It's already done. It's already done. Yeah. I believe. I believe. God's gone. gonna do it he'll do it for you and I believe it's gonna get better oh, I, believe I believe God's gonna 
love her so much. Miss Nikita Fox coming to the stage. The anointed. I don't say that often. I don't say it a lot. <laughs> I don't. Come on, take the stage, girl. Bless the Lord, everybody. Come on, bless the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Pastor Dixon, Pastor Patrick, all of the other pastors in the house. Mother Nelson, love you. Um, I had something else that I was supposed to do tonight, but when this came up, that got canceled. So I'm here tonight because I wanted to come and show love to my brother. So consistent. Every time I have seen you, encountered you, you have been the same. And I appreciate that because you cannot say that for everybody. I appreciate that so much. And I'm not going to be before you long. But there is a song that you wrote, which is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm just going to do a piece of it. <laughs> just a piece. I'm going to start with the verse. <laughs> I love singing a choir song as a solo. I've been through storm and the rain, but thank God I made it. 
to move into a whole nother, I'm going to start sewing or something. Uh, I'm not going to sing anymore. Houston, you guys are amazing. A uh, lot of talent. I, I guess y'all think y'all Detroit or something. I just thought I'd start something. Might as well. Listen, we have a great woman of God. We are still giving. We The night is pretty much over. We said we weren't going to hold you long, and we want to thank all of you who have given. Those of you who have yet to give, you got just a few more minutes. Uh, 
is it on the screen? It's right there on the screen. That is the number. For those of you at home, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for giving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You could be doing a thousand other things. You got Roku and Hulu and Netflix and Disney Plus, but you decided to tune in and, and uh, you know, support my brother, Sean. And, and we thank you for that. And I believe, honestly, that you're going to be blessed for that. So that's what's up. So moving right along, we have a great artist that, I mean, come on, you, you, I, needs no introduction, yet I shall. Houston native, award-winning artist, arranger, composer, who has served as the Minister of Music for Windsor Village CME Church for over 25 years. She's known for songs like How Precious and the Corinthian Song and an Oprah Winfrey favorite she is. Kathy Taylor's coming to the stage right now. Face is beat for God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Kathy. I am just so glad to be here, Sean. I'm so glad to see you. And you know, when I was going through, um, I don't know if you know it, but I had COVID. And y'all can see I have some of the underlying issues. But God brought me out. Not only did he bring me out, he brought my husband out. He brought my children. And sometimes we have to see a testimony so we can build your faith to know that God is a healer. So I stand to testify God is a healer. Listen, if you can testify to God being a healer, would you just stand so Sean can build his faith? Because listen, if he did it for us, He'll do it for you. And you know, we go around singing and we believe God, but now I understand what the man was saying in the Bible. He said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. So we just wanted, I just wanted the people to stand so you can see how many people God has already done it for. And if he's done it for us, he'll do it for you. Because you are a vessel full of power with a treasure from the Lord. B. Mike is here tonight. He's, he pinned this. Thank you so much. I am trouble yet not distressed You're a vessel full of Holy Ghost power. You've got a treasure from the Lord. Bruised and battered, but not broken. But in sin, but from sin set free. You are a vessel full of Holy Ghost power. You've got a treasure. In, in you. So thank you, Father, for your power. Now, if you have been resurrected, you ought to give God a praise. It has resurrected me. Oh. like what I've been through circumstances that my poor soul could not flee hallelujah to Jesus right where you are you ought to just lift your hands and say thank 
Because if you keep your mind on him, he promised to keep you in perfect peace. Always keep him on your mind. What else? Right here is a moment for worship, just real quick, just 60 seconds, just lift your hands and just, hallelujah, then I'm going to see you. Hallelujah. It's one thing to be in the house of God and getting charged up when all of the saints are here. But this moment right here that we're in, I just want you to lift your hands. When Sean goes home, that's when the enemy will try to speak in his ear. It ain't nothing new. We know his tactics, but we come against it right now. In the midnight hour when nobody else is around, the enemy will come and he'll say things to you. You know you're not going to make it. You know, you, you know things are looking bad right now. And then the doctor's reports will come, and it'll be on a piece of paper that you can see in black and white, and it'll be big because the enemy loves smoke and mirrors. His job is to make it look it's like it's insurmountable. But the Bible tells us to cast down every imagination that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Sometimes our imagination can go so far. And I caution you today, and those of you who are watching, I second what pastor says. Watch what you say. Watch your mouth. If you don't believe, keep that to yourself. But as for the rest of us, 
the old folks said, we're soldiers in the army of the Lord. And sometimes we got to fight. And we're doing that right now. God, we thank you for our brother. We thank you for his family and his friends. Lord, we pray that his faith fail not. Because you're not moved by tears. You're not moved by our emotions. You're moved by us trusting you. That's where we find you. So in this hard place, we lean on you. And God, we thank you because sometimes we don't know that you're all we need until you're all we got. And God, we love you and we depend on just you. For in Christ alone, we place our trust and find our glory in the power of the cross. And in every victory, let it be said of me that you're our source of strength. You're our source of hope in you alone. Holy Spirit, comfort him, follow him, surround him only with people that speak faith and drown out every negative word, every negative thing, every negative spirit that would try to come and bombard. We block it right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you because it's already done. In Jesus' name, amen. Right now to close us out, don't you leave. Bishop Dixon is going to come and close us out and give the benediction. We want to thank everybody. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Ernest Pugh. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for all of the artists and the musicians tonight. Thank you so much. Yes, Bishop. Thank you. Let's give our sister Lexi a big hand tonight. Come on, let's give her a big hand. She's done an amazing job for God tonight. Thank you so very much. I want to ask you, if you, if you please don't leave, if you got 10 minutes, if you have 10 minutes, because this is not for Sean, it's for all of us. I could spend 10 minutes thanking everybody, but I don't want to do that with the time. But we are grateful to everyone who's here. Benediction means blessing. It's the final blessing. You, you, you never know what you miss when you miss the benediction. You, you never know because worship is a love-making moment between God and his bride. The benediction is the final kiss. If you, if you, if, if you, if you walk out of the love-making session and don't get the final blessing, you never know what you miss. When, when you leave before the benediction, it's like walking out on your best date saying, now that I got what I wanted, I'm out. So, so you don't want to do God like that. You know, it's just, it's another, another sermon. But let me just say this tonight. Thank you, Kathy, for what you were singing. When you sing about, thank you, Father, for your power, it has resurrected me. Come on, say resurrected. Okay. You have not had not have a, had a conversation. I didn't know you were going to sing that song. I didn't know I was coming up after you. But God already put in my spirit to speak this word over Sean's life. And I need everybody in faith who can speak this word with me to speak it. Now, I want to say this. Before I say this to Sean, Lexi, one of the things that we've been talking privately about in small circles is that in Houston, we've had a problem getting all of us just to do something together. Let me be. Wow. I, I don't mean to out our laundry. I'm just saying that we've had a problem with unity. Oh, wow. Because the devil knows what happens when we unify. That's so good. And the wow. devil's been afraid of what would happen if we ever got all the gospel artists and musicians wow. in Houston just to decide we are one. Wow. And God uses tragedy for triumph. And tonight, Sean's pain has become our possibility. I want everybody who's a recording artist, a musician, a choir director, stand on your feet right now if you're there in Houston, Texas. God is saying, if we'll do this because a man got sick, 
we ought to do it just to give him glory. Amen. It ought not take somebody else getting sick before we come back together again. I was sharing with V. Michael McKay the other day, Brian, that there are only a few of the sages left like Brian and Kathy and others who were raised by people like Mother Betty Nelson and yourself. And it's time for us to bring all of this into order so that Sharon, when she sang the night, we have a generation that's just as anointed as Nikita and Rhonda and Kathy and Brian because you can't go to church to church and see what you used to see. But God is reminding us tonight, remember only what you do for Christ will last. And so I want you to look around this room and say, anybody in this house that's serving Jesus, we're on the same team. We're on the same team. Now, this healing tonight, Sean, is not just for you. God told me to say this tonight. In John chapter 11, Jesus showed up in a cemetery. He showed up in a cemetery in a condition that looked impossible. And the scripture says he waited on purpose until it looked impossible. You know, Jesus could have spoken healing the Lazarus without ever showing up. Because he can speak from wherever he is. But he waited until the situation looked impossible. And then he showed up. And he showed up when everybody else had given up. And Lazarus was already in the tomb. But Jesus called his name. And when Jesus called his name. Lazarus got up. Now, 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 I want us to understand this because tonight the healing is not just for Sean because somebody else has a situation that looks like it's completely impossible. Oh, God. Somebody got a marriage that looks like it's, it's already the divorce papers are already printed. You already, somebody got a financial. I just want some real folk tonight. Is there anybody here other than Sean that you're in a circumstance that already looks like it's impossible? And Jesus showed up and walked into the cemetery. And this is what he said for the benefit of these. Oh God, tell somebody sometimes your burden is necessary so Jesus can do something for you for the benefit of these. Oh man, I, 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 I'm saying sometimes Jesus picks you to have a burden that's so horrific so he can bless you for the benefit of these. Oh, God. I, I need somebody over here who's going through something that looks like it's completely impossible. And you're trying to figure out, God, why would you let me have this kind of burden? The Lord told me to tell you, it's not just for you. He wants to bless you after it's so bad for the benefit of these. Uh, they told me that the doctor said they can't fix that muscle. Can I tell you, Jesus can either fix the muscle or keep you living with it bad.
all things are possible. I, I need you to understand that he can keep you living and singing with a bad muscle because he can be the muscle in his place. And it might not be for you, it might be for the doctor. For the benefit of these. So that the doctor can have a report that says, I don't know how he's living because the muscle is not supposed to work. But for the benefit of these, I need somebody in this house to help give God some glory right about. I whistled through some things, Sean, a few years ago. And I was in a situation, I said, Lord, why would you let all this happen to me? And the Lord says, it's not just for you. I'm going to do with you more after this than I did before this ever happened to you for the benefit of these. So that every time you stand up, somebody knows it had to be me. Now, now you can't stop reading in verse in chapter 11. You got to read chapter 12 because Jesus got Lazarus up in chapter 11. But in chapter 12, Jesus, the last few days of his life, is eaten in Bethany in the home of a man they called Simon the leper. But he was already healed. And the Bible says, and Lazarus was there. Will you tell your neighbor from now on, the story is going to say, and we went to so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so and Sean was there. We went to Los Angeles and Sean was there. We went to the concert and Sh we went to the Stellars and Sh we went to the Grammys and we were at the cathedral and come on, no, 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 see, you gotta shout, Sean was there. Oh God, come on, tell me, we went to LA and Sean, we went to New York and we went to the recording, but we were at the prayer meeting. Tell your neighbor when you say Sean was there, you're announcing something by faith. You're speaking the future in the present. So when you speak the future in the present, my God, my God, you announce it in faith, so time has to honor it. Oh, my God. You just told somebody to invite Sean to L.A. You just told somebody to bring Sean to New York. You just told somebody in... Come on, say, and Sean was there. And, 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 he, oh God, y'all are missing this. I need some faith people, Mother Nelson, you know what I'm trying to say. You went through the same thing. Come on, say, and Mother Nelson was there. Oh my God. Come on, say, I showed up tonight. And some folks thought Mother Nelson wouldn't be here. But Mother Nelson was there. Because she had some people speaking in faith. And I need a few people up in here right now who will stop acting like you're tired and get on your feet and put a faith word in the atmosphere and sound Sean was that. For the benefit of these, I'm done. But, but hear this, Tim. What he says in chapter 12, Sean was there, Lazarus was there. And here's the verse that gets me. It says, and the chief priests were figuring out how to kill Jesus. And they were trying to figure out how to get rid of Lazarus. 
because every time folks saw Lazarus, they could not deny it was Jesus. Oh my God. Will you tell your neighbor, Sean's value just went up. Y'all missed that. Sean's value to the kingdom just went up. Because from now on, whenever somebody hears Sean says, I believe, they're going to say his value went up because what you went through and what you came out of, only Jesus could have made it happen. And I say this to you tonight in my clothes. I'm done. I want you to get this. Haggai chapter 2 verse 9. And the glory of your ladder will be greater than your former. I said the ladder glory is going to be greater than the former glory. Here's what God says. Only God can outdo God. Which means whatever you've seen God do before this storm, God's about to outdo God. If you think God used you before, God's about to outdo God. Because can't nobody outdo God but God. Get ready to see God do something in your life that God says, I'm going to outdo myself because the latter glory shall be greater than the former. And sometimes, here it is, I'm done. Sometimes God lets you get so down that people give up on you and walk out on you because God needed them gone. So when you get back up, you know who's really with you. Oh my God, I'm done. I want somebody to lift your hands towards Sean McLemore. I want to pray. I want y'all praying around. Come on, Ryan. Help me. Kathy, come close. Nikita, come close. Just in this altar area, if you don't mind. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. He has given Jesus Christ, God's Son, and now let the weak say, I am strong, let the poor
Let the weak say, Let the weak oh, say, that I am, I am strong. Let the poor, healing for your sorrow there's healing for your pain oh, there's healing for your spirit oh, shelter from the rain oh, Jesus. 
Say this with me. The anointed Maclemores for generations. Because when God gave birth to the night, oh my God, your best stuff comes out of your greatest burdens. And I see God in this place. Thank you so very much to all of you. Thank you, Ernest Pugh. Thank you, Cedric Ballard. Thank you so very much, Karen Douglas. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Pastor Patrick, all of you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Nikita. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever else that names I did not call, all of you. May God bless you. Let's stand together. Let's stand together. speak this blessing over your life. May the presence of God keep you company. May the peace of God keep you calm in every circumstance. May the promises of God keep you confident no matter what things look like. May the provisions of God keep you comfortable. May the power of God make you a conqueror. And may the praises of God be your conversation. Until that day that we meet at Jesus' feet and declare he's worthy to receive glory, majesty, dominion, and power forever and forever. Let us all say Amen. God be with you till we meet again. Bless you.